Welcome back. What are we doing today? Well, we're just doing a little documentation of this frost footing thing in case someone wonders how we pulled it off. So, <clears throat> as you can see, Bossman's doing a little final sweepy sweep. The uh, trencher had to come through and obviously damage the frost protection. So, Bossman spent, what you, three and a half, four minutes yesterday working on this? Yeah, right. And he Jenga cut all those little pieces, but we did. It's raining right now. I'm being rained on. Look at the concrete. Yeah. It's raining. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all that foam out and then glue it together with this can of great stuff. Because unfortunately, our awesome spray foam gun exploded. The tip fell off, and that thing's trash now. So what we did, because we're overachievers. Is that's just the top layer? We're doing two layers there to double foamy protect that because of the potential whatevers. So, in case someone in the future says, "How'd you get that wire in there with your frost protection?" This is the video for that. Plus, I'm putting it on the internet for my for my benefit. Whatever. So th this is what I love. How, how you guys like this? Now, does that look like that's? Coming, does that look like it's straight in? Like there's a like how do you how do you do that? Like what? It's crooked, man. Like God, you, you, how do people do that? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Anyways, next thing, and I don't know if I even want to show this, but I'm going to because like this is driving me nuts. We're putting the waterproof membrane up. This stuff. And this is, I was warned, be careful. This sticks to anything. It's the hardest thing to put up. You're never going to, it's going to stick to your face. I wish, dude. This shit ain't sticking to nothing. This is the most trash I've never, oh God. And yes, I understand. There gets a layer on the foam and you have to brush it. And we've brushed it. Now we're toweling it. I think you brought a vacuum cleaner out today. We're going to try vacuum cleaning it to make it stick. Because like the first one we put up was obviously like right, right here. Like... That's, there's no stick happening. I mean, we got the seams good, but man, I don't get it. I don't understand. How, like, and, and this is where it gets even better. I literally called the guy that sold us this and said, hey, this shit ain't sticking. And he goes, oh, dude, once it's in the sun, you just rub it a little bit, it'll stick forever. And this was in the sun all day. And like, dude, nice try. Good story, bud. Like we had to put these cleats up to temporarily hold it. Otherwise, the wind would have just blown it right off. So I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I just, it's more of this underwhelming. Like, I think what we're going to actually have to do is there's a, there'll be like drop scraps of this. What we're going to end up doing is putting band-aids on these seams. Like, at least we can get that. Like, right here, it doesn't look like it's super great. Like, that doesn't look like it's super married. So I don't know. He brought a heat gun out. They told him to rub it. Well, boss man was sitting here rubbing it like, like gold coins were going to fly out of it. I finally had to, like, make him stop. I was like, dude, you got to stop. You're going to rub a hole in it. So, whatever. It just... Shit drives me nuts. Anyways. Uh, we were cutting here. I was on my hands and knees. Hurt my knees some more. So, I'm going to make a station. I'm going to put the planks on there and make a stand-up cut station. Um, I guess we can... I can't remember if I filmed any of this. <clears throat> Since we're here. Oh, boss man. He, he's got his jigsaw. Do, do you remember how the jigsaw goes back together? Yep. Let's look at his, his underwork. There's his underwork. And I think we're just going to foam the living tar out of that. Just, psh, ooh, he's got a, is that a triple layer or a double layer? Oh. Double layer for the overachiever. <laughs> Whatever. I just, oh, oh, almost fell down. Come up here and see what this is all about. <laughs> all right so right now i got most of the trash around the back side here i don't think i filmed hauling the forms away i just didn't i i did that on a saturday i just loaded them up hauled a couple truckloads out so all i got left is these little tiny ones i can just throw those in the back of my truck so as of right now everything's cleaned everything's done we got a couple spots we got to patch up but no big deal it's just concrete so this is how it turned out. It went pretty good. Like I said, there are a couple spots I got to get some some stuff to make some little little touch ups. 
but that's that. So next thing we're doing, the waterproof membrane goes from here around and down. And then we could put this tube in and backfill, but plumber won't show up. Like, unfortunately, I know enough about plumbers that if I put this air tube down and I backfill, they will destroy it. And it's going to be like, Bossman said, well, he'll just have to dig the whole foundation up and replace it. I'm like, yeah, good luck. Good luck. So whatever. That's, that's where we're at. So if you can envision, like, here's the walkway here into the house. French doors right there on that side. Concrete slab will come up. A little B post. He's going to clad them all out, make them fancy. So you got to envision that's the height. I mean, basically, the bottom of that, that concrete there is dirt height. So if you sit back here and look, that's the fill job I have to do. Is I have to fill all this to exactly that height. And then uh, we're going to put a small, a small decorative retaining wall along the sidewalk to bring that height down. And it'll be down a little bit along here. And then we're going to come around here. And we're going to slope the yard. From there, it's going to diagonal down to meet where we are here. And then the yard will get graded out to like <clears throat> the center of his car at an angle, I guess. This is what we're doing, I guess. That's all we can do. I mean, unfortunately, this house is just barely fitting on this lot. <laughs> and I know some of you guys look at this like, oh, dude, that ain't wide enough for a three-car garage. Well, literally, there was no more room to put the house in the lot. Like, there's minimums you have between the house and the side yard. And... He didn't want to slam it all the way, but it's pretty... I mean, there's not 60 feet here. Like, truth be told, that's the pin line right there. I'm standing on it. So it's like, there's enough room to drive... That's like eight feet. You can drive a car there. That's, that's what he wanted, is to be able to get a vehicle legally on... Not legally, but like on his own property to drive a vehicle around the thing if you had to. That's why it is the way it is, and it's, it'll be fine. I guess what I'd say is, for anyone that thinks that it's not right or big enough i guess when you build yours you can do it exactly the way you want to how about that for a plan when you build yourself a six car garage with a lift holding seven cars on a house like this you can do it exactly the way you want to <clears throat> i'd do it differently <laughs> that's what i would do but that's just me so yeah i don't know how much longer i'm gonna film this because boss man's gonna start working here and i gotta supervise so. you getting ready there boss man You just gonna foam the living shit out of it and pump it in? You need some assistance? Uh, just stand back. Stand back? Do you want me not to film you doing this? This is gonna get crazy? I don't know, I'm just gonna film some of these cracks along the edges and then shoot the center. And... In the rain? In the rain. He's shaking it up, just like the instructions say. Shake it up. Are you just gonna blast it around on them wires and shit? Yep. Good. So like a lot of you guys are like, why is it taking so long? Well, here, this is one of the reasons it takes so long, because we're having to do this. Like, I don't know if this is our job. I'm not the utility guy. I didn't dig the trench, but yeah, I sat here and fought those wires to get them right because they were just jacked. Like, where did they have this thing? They had they had this thing, like, at an angle, and that was, like, wrapped around on the wrong side. It's like, dude, the whole thing is like, oh, these guys will take care of it. Oh, man, let's check this out. How's it going to go? Oh, he's going to get in there. Yeah, it's going to come out hot. That will expand, so you don't have to go, like, super duper on it. You're gonna to want to get your next layer in before it uh it hardens too. Otherwise, you're gonna. You got time? Oh yeah, this is gonna be sealed forever, kids. In a goddamn rainstorm. All right. Well, that's what that looks like. So, in case you wanted to know, I'm gonna go put his. I'm actually using boss man's phone because my phone's full. So, <laughs> gotta get it out of the rain. We could look at the neighbors, but there's not much to see. They poured one of the driveways today, I think. But they're excited for the rain. Oh, that driveway's in too. Both driveways. Let's see if we can get a zoom. Oops. So you can kind of see around the corner where there he's working. There's a driveway poured there. And they just poured that right now. Yep. All done. All done. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Whatever. Get her done, buds. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. So, got three boxes of stuff getting rained on right there. This shit is heavy. So, until next time, do your thing. I'm doing mine.
gummy bears.